Welcome to Electra Online, and now we're in the next era of the universe, when nuclear synthesis stopped 20 minutes after the universe began, and when one quarter of all the hydrogen had been converted to helium, just like what stars do at the core of these stars, the universe began to settle into a different, a different stage, what we call now the matter era. So it was no longer hot enough, the temperature required would be 10 to the 7 Kelvin, which is 10 million Kelvin, and when the temperature dipped below that after 20 minutes, no more nuclear fusion, uh, fusion would take place, and the universe kind of quieted down and began to cool down over the next 380,000 years until the universe cooled down to a temperature of about 3,000 Kelvin. So it took about 380,000 years for that to happen. At that point, something very special happened. But what is so interesting about this matter era, and why do we call it the matter era? Well, now it would be as if you're inside a star, but no longer inside the core where nuclear fusion takes place. Now it would be as if you were inside the radiation zone of a star. Remember, when you're in the radiations of a star, the energy, the photons that are created in the core when hydrogen is converted to helium and you copious amount, billions upon billions of pounds of hydrogen is converted to helium every second inside stars, all that energy begins to, wor wor uh, begins to work its way out to the outside, and you know that it takes about 150 to 200,000 years, let me write that down because that's kind of important, it takes about 150,000 to about 200,000 years for radiation, for the photons to work, to work its way all the way out from the center of the sun to the outside of the sun. And all along, more energy is being created, trying to push that radiation out. But once you're inside the sun, the reason why it takes so long for these photons to reach the outer edge of the sun is because they constantly keep bumping into matter and they keep ping-ponging around. It's kind of like a ping-pong machine, so to speak. It keeps ping-ponging around all over the place and it just very slowly drifts towards the outside of the universe. Or I should say the outside of the star. Well, the universe was a very similar situation. It was filled with matter at very high temperatures, filled with photons, bouncing around everywhere, but they couldn't go anywhere. So the whole universe was extremely opaque. You couldn't see the fingers in front of your eyes if you were to be in it. Again, it was very hot, so you need a very good asbestos suit, but it's like being in a thick soup, a thick fog where you couldn't see a single thing, and energy bouncing around everywhere, matter being everywhere, basically imprisoning that radiation. And so that's why we call it matter dominated or the matter era because the, the uh, radiation, the background radiation that we see today, which was locked inside the universe and couldn't go anywhere, was simply not able to, to move around as radiation normally does. Radiation in the universe normally moves at 300,000 kilometers per second or 186,000 miles per second. And in this case, it was just bouncing around everywhere and not going anywhere. So it was locked within that universe at a very high temperature. And as the universe cooled over the thousands and thousands of years, finally, when we got to the point where 380,000 years had passed since the beginning of the universe, since the Big Bang had unfolded the universe, the temperature had dropped to 3,000 Kelvin. And that's a very special temperature. And if you want to know why that's so special, come and take a look at the next video, and you'll find out. A very special event again unfolded in the universe about 380,000 years after the universe started.